I think the place that we have to start is not even talking about automation. It's it's taking a, a slight step backwards and and making sure that we're clear on what the purpose of our analytics team is. Uh, because if we don't know what it is that we're doing, it's really hard to align anything, uh, especially something like automation, with a desired outcome. And, and by that I mean, if we don't know what our purpose is and what we're trying to do, we've already seen kind of the mess we've got ourselves in without automation, without AI, right? Like we're overloaded with tools, we have all this data, all this stuff, but like we're not delivering any more value and we're probably delivering less value. And I think a big part of that is that we've lost, um, we've lost a sense of why we exist. Um, and then aligning those things to help us better do our job. And for me, and I had this kind of epiphany the other day, and I'm going to actually just pull it up. Um, so my, my thought was, and my post is, and I'll just, it's short, so I'll read it word for word. Analytics is not about crunching numbers faster or automating reports or coming up with a new way to collect data. Analytics, when done right, is about freeing up people to do what they do best whether that's being a marketer, a product manager, or hey, perhaps even a chef. And, and the reason I came to this epiphany is I'm, I'm reading this book uh, that someone recommended to me called, uh, what is it? Unreasonable Hospitality. Um, it's about the restaurant industry. Um, and the, the guy is talking from his first person perspective. Um, he went to culinary school. His first kind of real job in the restaurant business was working for a boutique restaurant group in New York, I think, that owned four restaurants. He had an opportunity to go work at a larger restaurant. And he, his dad, who was a world-renowned chef, told him, you should take it. And the reason why you should take it is that it's important to understand that you have this hospitality component with with small restaurants and then there's this whole business component uh when you get to running bigger restaurants and um he went to work for this larger restaurant to kind of learn the business side of running a restaurant and his job was a uh, kind of a report guy they just had him running reports in excel and he hated it he's like this is stupid this has nothing to do with running a restaurant and then he went down and sat with the controller of the restaurant group and they were going through some of the reports and he said, did you notice uh, that this restaurant over here uh, is, is losing money and their margins are, are suffering? Um, and did you notice that if you dig a little deeper in the report that the cost of lobster has gone up substantially and that we haven't raised the rates of, of lobster? Um, our job as analysts is to inform the chef of this and, and help him understand that we either need to raise the rates on the lobster dishes or we need to pull lobster off the menu and replace it with something else that the chef comes up with. And it was such a beautiful kind of moment. And they talked about the conversation with the chef and they said, we gave him these insights and this information allowed him as a chef to be creative and decide, do I want to raise the rates? Do I want to do something else? And the chef pulled the lobster items off the menu and replaced it with a scallop dish that he had been working on. They didn't take away from his creativity. They didn't take away from his job. They actually made his job easier as a chef by allowing him to focus on the things that he was great at and using the analytics and the data to help inform that, freeing him up to do his job. And I really think that that's what our role is. Our role, whether our partner is in marketing, in product, uh, you know, in engineering, whatever it is, our role should be to free them up, provide them insights so they don't have to use a ton of brain cycles on that to do the things that they're really, really good at. And I think if we're able to come to that um, consensus, then we can talk about things like automation and tools that allow us to do that in a very effective and efficient manner. Mm -hmm.